Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about all things parabolas, and specifically the three ways we can write parabolas, which are going to be standard form, vertex form, and intercept form. And before we get started, just to show you a quick example of all three, standard form will look something like this, y equals 2x squared minus 6x plus 8. It's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Vertex form always looks like y equals x minus 3 squared plus 5, or something like that. And intercept form will always look like something like this, x plus 6 times x minus 2, something like that. And maybe you've seen all of these forms before, maybe you haven't, but I'm going to be telling you why each one's important and what you need to know from each one, starting with standard form. So standard form is always written in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So no matter what standard form you have for a parabola, the first thing you should do is identify what a, b, and c are. So for instance, if I have this problem right here, I would start off by saying, a equals negative 3, B equals 10, and C equals negative 8. One thing I want to say that my students do sometimes that is absolutely wrong, do not include X in your A, B, and C. A, B, and C are just the numbers. Now some things you can tell from standard form. We can tell the X vertex of a parabola because the formula will always be negative B over 2A. So for instance, in this example, it would be negative 10 divided by 2 times negative 3, which would end up being negative 10 over negative 6, which reduces to 5 thirds. This is the x vertex. This is also known as the axis of symmetry of a parabola, which I will tell you would look something like this if I had a graph. Let's say this is 5 thirds over here. Then the parabola might look something like this. And as you can see at 5 thirds, there's like an imaginary line going down it where it's symmetrical along that line. Another thing we can tell from standard form, if your a term, the thing in front of the x squared, if that's a positive number, in other words, a is greater than zero, then this is when the parabola opens upward. So it looks like a smiley face. And then if a is negative, in other words, a is less than zero, that is when your parabola opens downward and it looks like a frowny face. And by the way, this is gonna be true for all three forms of parabolas. The A term is going to determine if it opens up or down. And the last thing I'll say is, we can easily find the y-intercept to a parabola in standard form because it's just equal to C, whatever the C term is. So again, the same parabola, y equals negative three x squared plus 10 x minus eight. We would say the y-intercept is at negative eight or if they want you to write it as a coordinate point, you would write zero comma negative eight. That's the y-intercept. And that's everything I have to say for standard form. If you have any questions about that, post them in the comments. But now we're gonna move on to vertex form, which is my personal favorite. So vertex form is great for finding the vertex, which is pretty self-explanatory. But first, here's the general formula. Y equals A times the quantity X minus H squared plus k. And all you need to know about this is that the vertex of the parabola is always going to be at the point h comma k. You'll notice the negative sign here in front of the h means that you will always flip the sign of h, and I'll show you an example of that in a minute. And like I said before, if a is positive, if a is greater than zero, then that means the parabola opens up, it's a smiley face, and if a is less than zero, it opens down, so it's a frowny face. So a quick example of this would look something like this. Y equals two times X minus four squared minus five. Immediately I know the vertex is at the point four comma negative five. Notice I flipped the sign from negative to positive on the first one and the K value stayed as negative five. So there's my vertex. I also know that since A is two and two is positive, I also know this parabola opens up so I know a lot about this parabola just by knowing how to use vertex form. And so a rough sketch of this might look something like this. Parabola 
vertex at four, negative five, somewhere down here. And then I said it opens up, so maybe the parabola looks something like that. And that's everything you need to know for vertex form. Now there's only one form left. It is intercept form. I've seen the equation written out a few different ways, but here's the way that I'm gonna teach today. The formula looks something like this. Y equals A times X minus P times X minus Q. And intercept form is great for finding the X intercepts of a parabola. The X intercepts are where the parabola crosses the X axis. So here and here, intercept form is gonna be great at finding those because the X intercepts are always at P and Q. And again, notice the flipping the sign on the negative with the P and the Q. So for instance, if I have Y equals X minus four times X plus nine, it means that my X intercepts are going to be at four and negative nine, or sometimes you see X intercepts written like this, four comma zero and negative nine comma zero. Always comma zero because we're saying the Y value is zero. Some of my students will say four comma negative nine. That is absolutely wrong. Do not do that. And so yeah, that's basically a good introduction to the three forms parabolas can be written in and what we can find from each form. If you have any questions on any of that, please post in the comments. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.